Get out of here. Super, Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Why you... is he going backwards? <laughs> what the f is he doing? Okay. <laughs> he's gonna race with it. Oh, you thought. Oh, and he's smacking. <laughs> <laughs> what the f is he perfect, doing? Perfect, boys. Perfect. Let's go. Just haul ass. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have something very special to show you, and I'm a day late because I'm an idiot, and uh, somehow I don't know how to uh, computer, so whatever. But I'm here with my good buddy Jaded Artifact 54, and if you guys uh, if you guys like him throughout the course of the video, you can go subscribe to his channel. It's Horizon Racing, right, Jaded? Yes, sir. All right, it's going to be in the link in the description. Today, we are going to get tacos. You know, Viva La Mexico, you know? <laughs> like yep. some spicy tacos uh, jaded found this spot and i actually really like it like i didn't know all the scenic spots like i know like decent places to take photos but like i don't think you could have did better than this bro like i can see the cruise ship in the background yeah it's perfect it's a hellcat in the background two hellcats hey mm -hmm. bro you know what I liter mean. bro literally bro. <laughs> Shit weighs a ton, but hey, tons of fun. You know what they say about <laughs> yep. big girls? They love to party. No, <laughs> like four doors, more horse. Oh, shit. Hey, uh, so, Jaded, do you remember yesterday when you said that you wanted a carbon fiber ducktail on your Porsche? Yep. Okay, so I have to admit. But in this game, you can't do it. It's annoying. I, I know. It doesn't yeah. let you pin it. So mm -hmm. I noticed that. I'm not gonna lie. I have messed with this car, guys. I mean, I haven't really like driven it, driven it. I put like a little tiny tune on it and whatever. Not this one. This is a stock one. It's a dupe. I bought this to trick Jaded because I did paint a car, and it does happen to have a carbon fiber ducktail, and you guys are gonna love it. If you want to go download it, you can go get it. You let me know what you think, Jaded, because okay. I think it's nice. Uh Ooh. Six, 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 six. It's nice. <laughs> what do you think, bro? Be honest. Okay, let me go and fold them up. I don't like the silence. Okay, you're killing, bro. The silence is killing me, bro. Oh, shit. Okay, I like the rims. I like the paint. Ooh, a carbon duck spoiler with the stripes on it? Yeah, bro. And they dropped down past it, bro. That took me a lot of layers and a lot of time and a lot of heartache. But I finally did it. Shit took me yeah. like a straight hour though. Oh, but hey, so if you want a carbon fiber ducktail, you can. You did the whole thing with fucking paint on. I had to. All the... Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had to because. I fuck with it. Yeah, because you can't paint. You have to. If you want anything carbon fiber on your car, pro tip: the whole freaking car has to be carbon fiber, and then this is all then vinyl. Alone over it. But you run into another problem: your mirrors are not vinyl. You can't vinyl your mirrors. So you have to memorize the paint and try to match the saturation and other shit mm -hmm. to your paint. But what do you think? I got a spot on? Because vinyl and a different paint is going to be different. Yep. What do you think about the if manufacturer that, stripes? Doesn't that shit look like legit? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, now you gave me a new idea. I'm going <laughs> to have you do that too. Go in photo mode, look at your front bumper. You see your splitter, right? Make uh, that carbon fiber too. The I was I was going to do that, right? But uh -huh. the problem is, is that it made it look like it was trucking. I was literally gonna do that. Oh yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, you know what I I'm saying? About it, if yeah. you do the side skirts, then that is gonna look like it's way too high off ground. You're right. Yeah. But no, I do like the ducktail. I thought it was I clean with the paint. It. Yeah, yeah, you like it? You're gonna go down there for real? That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Yes, sir, like just my ducktail to be in carbon fiber. Damn, bro, I nailed it. Oh, fuck, my voice cracked. Who the fuck am I? Thirteen? <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, you twelve. Hey, that mint hey, and this bro, color looks fire. This is a nice fire. combo. This is yeah. nice combo of two light colors. Yeah, I knew you'd love it. Cause Jaded, he likes minimalistic shit. I like putting like dragons on my car and shit. I don't know why. I just get over it. like. I can't stop designing. Like once I get a design I really like, I just fucking kill it because I love it so much. I squeeze it to death. Like your design on your wear on, <laughs> I really like it, the blue and chrome. Oh, hey, you know what? This is going to be another longer video. I'm sorry. We're going to jump straight into it. Today I got some special stuff planned and uh, we're going to be scoring this car. We're going to rate it. We're going to do some dirt races, some drifting, some other cool shit. But um, over on my channel, man, just, you know, get accustomed to longer videos. Because 
me and Jaded, we we fuck around, but we have fun. So if you're interested in that, you want to come join the gang, send us an invite, send me a message, and uh, you can come play with us. Look at this shit. Oh, 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 you like it? Okay, hold is that up. The, is hold that up. The, no, 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 no. Hold up. You like it? <laughs> Park it sideways next to Taco Sad. I got which, you. Which one? Which one? Which one? Uh -huh. Oh, shit. He's going to pull out the fucking zero. I, I, okay, so me and Jaded, we were customizing cars the other day, like Veyrons and shit. And uh, he customized a Chiron and called the Iron Man, right? So I'm like, I'm going to do my this own is version Iron of the edition. Iron Man. That's the Iron Man edition. So I didn't do mine exactly the same, but I was but like, you're totally I, opposite of mine. Yes, bro. I fucking did it. I fucking did it. I had to. And that's just sick. So that red C around your door panel and pillars, it just looks nasty. It pops. I love it. In the so red. you want to know the funny story about this? I'm going to post a picture over the video right now. This is a real mm -hmm. life Bugatti paint, but the C is gray. Mm -hmm. The C's actually gray. Oh, okay. And I nailed the color on the car. It was like a gold, but almost like a tan, like a desert color. I fucking nailed it. It has like a yellow pearlescent, but like a slightly orange gold tint to it. Mm -hmm. And you know what's funny? Look at your black paint and look at my black paint. You see the difference? I think it's because you might. I think it's because you have carbon fiber as your base coat. But this is not actually black paint. Can you guess what it is? Is black carbon? No. I wanted it to shine like crazy. Like, see how reflective my paint is? Uh -huh. It's dark chrome. But I lightened it up a little bit. So the reflections are dancing okay. on this shit. I have a black carbon fiber on mine. Yeah, I could tell because of the matted color. Mm -hmm. That's sick. I know we're reviewing the Porsche. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're fucking getting sidetracked. Of the uh, okay, let's go like on Porsches. Let's, let's, get, go in, get, let's get in Porsches. So um, I'm going to get in my painted one. I put wheels and like transmission or some shit in twin turbo because I was driving it around in like a cruising type situation earlier. And uh, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and reset it to stock. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of drag racing against stock cars. Um, I'm on crack. Oh, here it is. Porsche. So let me go ahead and whip that thing out. That's what uh, that's what he said. That's what I said. What you gonna do about it so i have a scoring system today and tell me if it's corny in the comments or not but i'm gonna say paint rarity options drift utility cost and track that is an anagram mm -hmm. for the product score which i came up with today in about 15 minutes it's just a series of things that we're going to put the car through we're going to test them give them our score we're going to add our score together and we're going to give the car a number. I don't even know what that's going to end up being, but we're going to give each category what? You want to think 5, 10? I think we I think we should do 10, right? Yeah, 10 should be fine because then you have a lot of to compromising. With yeah. 5 it's like really hard to you got to be picky when you're doing 5. With 10 you got more room. It's like nah, just do 7 like that. Yeah, so it'll we'll give a, it'll give the cars a wider score too. So when every time yep. a new car comes out we're going to do it. And if there's a car that you want to see a product score done on, or if you have a better idea as to what the shit should be called other than product score, just go ahead and drop it down in the comments. But I made it up today. I kind of like it. Me and Jaded are going to give it the best score we possibly can. Um, we're not we're not experts, but we're pretty damn close, uh, as you can see. Or from if my you paint want job, any you know, other car shit. to be compared with other car, just drop it down in comments. Yeah, we if you guys are interested too. in some Forza Science, we can definitely do that because that's literally all we do in our free time. This time we can just fucking record it. What are you? What are you in? I know it's not stock. I know you. Oh, it's bone stock. Really? It's bone stock. For yeah. once, <laughs> for once. You know, me and yeah. Jaded, we raced bone stock cars, but you know why? Well, yeah. Why? I just wanted in a wheel spin when I was in my Bugatti. Oh, that's your that's your uh, that's your criteria for picking a car. Whatever I fucking win in a wheel spin. <laughs> I'm just yeah, I'll I'll take it. Shit. You want to fast travel to the drag strip and compare these shits? Yeah, I'm right. it there. Cool. Uh, so this is one? about the right. Long one or the festival? Let's go to the long one, just because we have more yep. room. There's not a bunch of randoms trying to yep, yep, yep. sniff the back Race of our fucking with the neck. RTRs. Bone shaker. Hey, if you have an RTR and you want to get gapped, all you have to do is just message me or Jader on Xbox. Join up. <laughs> I'm just playing. Bro. 
<laughs> I'm sounding like such a dick. I'm just playing, but our, I'm not lying. Our RTRs are cracked as shit. Nah, bro. man, mine's slow. I don't know what you're talking hey, about. Hey, bro, look at like look at Jada's license plate. Yeah, yeah. Go on pause menu. Go on pause menu. Fucking hide it, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. It's in, it says sell it. Jada don't give a fuck. So I'm gonna heat up these tires on this little fucking can of biscuits. So this is about right though. You're heavy as shit compared to me, but you have slightly more horsepower. I think I'm making low 400s, right? I'm making 460 bone stock. Yeah. Yeah. But let's, how much you weight? I'm about to see. We're gonna get an exact science on this shit. Oh yeah, I got a thousand on you, Bubba. I think well, <laughs> I think I got 800 at least. I would make 615. Why do I make 615? Oh. That's your turbo one. Oh, Whoopsie. you know what? Keep it. Keep it. I Whoopsie, got you. Whoopsie I got Daisy. You. No, 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 no. Let's compare it stock first because then nobody okay. knows what upgrades I did. I want to keep it as fair as possible. So I'm going to get out the other one. This is the reason I did this. I got to show off the baby blue good looking car, but now mm -hmm. I can get the stock one. Yeah, let's do stock comparison. Then pull out your upgraded one. I got a car for you. We can test with. Good shit. I did put wide tire. It's more track oriented, but we're going to get into the drag shit. No worries. Don't even worry about it. I'm making 408. But I'm making 460. I weigh 3261. Suck on it. I weigh 3705. Oh, well, my torque number is really good. Oh, I'm in the 300s. <laughs> I'm in the 300s. I'm, like, no lies. I'm on the dot 420. Oh, shit. Blaze it up. I'm 310. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I might get clapped. So that is a fat I bitch. I might jump on. I get a jump on you from a roll or something, mm -hmm. but you will do top end on me because you lighter yeah but mustang is op and it's cracked in this game even stock so we figure it out who knows this has been in every fucking forza dlc in the world maybe this one's cracked we're about to find out, <laughs> we're about to find yeah, out let's bro. go you ready yep i'll get off you, you got sure? it oh okay. yeah oh porsche off the line Let's go, baby. Oh, man, you will fucking with clutch. I love it. Oh, you fucking bastard. There's no way that that fat bitch is faster than me, bro. <laughs> it is somehow. Like I told you, it's Forza. Bro, and the put love some respect things. on my freaking name, bro. I did not. I don't know how to do that when you are three cars behind me. Hey, man. listen, I've had to fight all my <laughs> life, bro. I'm tired of the disrespect. All right. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Okay, so if that gives you a if that gives you a good idea, what you're looking at bone stock, then yeah. Above all else, this Porsche looks fantastic. I love it. Oh yeah, it lo just looks great. Oh, you know what? I got a car, 550 horsepower, 4,400 pounds. Damn, that shit's heavy. You know what? That'll be a good race. Yeah, that's gonna be our last and race. And it's all-wheel drive. Because yeah, after that, let's do what yeah. we're supposed to do. I, and I know you like this car too, the what I just pulled out. Let me see. Ooh, I love that car. I love it. I hate it and I love it. They did Audi dirty in this game, so that's why I hate it. But above all else, it looks, sounds great, and it has active aero. All my favorite things. And in, in next two months, it's a rumor we might get new Audis in the game added. Hopefully they don't do them dirty. And I got fucking let. Oh, that shift to screwed you, bro. Your shit looked like you hit I the was, brakes. I wasn't paying attention. I oh. wasn't paying attention. I red banged it. But oh. look. But look, oh. it's pulling. That weight, bro. No, you pulling. I know. You That's pulling. what I'm saying. Like I got, I got no weight, bro. Oh, here it I It looks come. like the Slowly. same gap. Eh, you're coming, bro. You're somebody close. More because I messed that shift up. That's too close. And you know, it doesn't have any brake stock. I'm dead. See, sometimes being heavy saves your life. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. In you a rollover, you would live. I would not. So, uh, should we put crash test rating oh, in the score hard chart? To roll over this heavy car. I know, bro. It's just like a Tesla. You ain't gonna flip that car. Okay. With no bad shift. You're right with me, but I leave. I'm leaving. I'm like half your car right now. And Forza I redlined it a little Let me bit. Put it this way. Oh my god. Oh, we you're... had to head on my screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you're you're in my rear bumper on my screen. Yeah, Forza has that issue. You're pulling, bro. 
top end, like 160, you got it. My shit's struggling. But that oh, is a very good did. race. Nope, nope. I'm not going to hit a tree. I'm not going to hit a tree. We're good. Minor, minor cuts and bruises. We live. Okay. Yep. You know what? Good races. We can see that the Porsche ain't about that life stock. But I'm pretty sure if we upgraded and put the GT2 RS motor in it at one point in this video, it's going to be cracked out of its mind. So this video is going to be a little bit long, but hey, it's going to be fun. Should we build our cars before we do the race event or should we try to do them bone stock and see what happens? Let's do bone stock. I'm going to pick a different car with you in. Okay. And let's just see. Where, so let me know what class you're going to pick so I can pick something similar. Oh, so I'm A756. Okay, so let me go in my garage and just look for A, car, a class Can I cars. pick a circuit race? Comp I want a long, bendy race. I got one car. It's kind of upgraded, like just minor upgrades. <laughs> what you think about a Focus, R Focus RS? A Focus RS? Damn, I got every car yeah. in the game. I don't have that one. Let me see. Yeah. A Focus it's, a, it's an Indian version. It's an Indian version. <laughs> Off a Ford Focus a RS. Focus <laughs> RS? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, shit. So, All right. You 350 know what? horsepower, 350 torque, 3,450 pounds. Maybe. I feel like, yeah, that's I a good... I have all-wheel drive. That's a good race. That's a good race. Let's do it. Yeah. So, the Focus is cheap compared to this car, but it's hard to match the horsepower in something that, like, exotic, unless you get, like, what, an old Ferrari or some shit? Like, what would be comparable to this in a super car, well, sports car range? Not even sports If not you even put it towards real life, there's nothing, then you gotta go into, like, classic Ferraris, because yeah. that Porsche is rare in real life. Like, I know. way rare. There's, what was there, like, uh, 150 of these or some shit? I think it was 250 to 300. 250? Still, that's, yeah. like, extra rare. I would have got that shit, though. I mean, look at it. If I was balling like that... I would have bought that shit in a heartbeat. Look how beautiful it looks. Oh, dude, the interior's brown. Oh, Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Why did I not notice that? It only gave me an option. You know what? I picked that car. It what only you... gave me an option to pick an i8. You picked an i8? You know what? BMW versus electric, well, hybrid versus, you know what? Why not? That's a slow dog shit Why car, not? too. <laughs> Why not? Yep. Let's run it. I think you pick Germans only because you were in a German car when you started a race. So only give me option to pick another German car. What? But this let's is see. A, this is a free roam race. There's no way. I just picked a random car. Oh, it's a, this yeah. was a recommended car. That's so weird. Was your shit A-class? You probably could have scrolled yeah. through. That's really weird. So spoiler alert. I wish alert. I could beat you in the co-op. My difficulty is hella low. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, oh, shit. Bye. Oh, oh shit. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> I Damn. can't even move. <laughs> Damn. Why did the IA take off like that? Oh, but Damn, everybody else is dog shit except me. Oh my god. Why did the AI try to take me out? This thing corners because gnarly. Because it's on unbeatable. No, it's not. No, no. My difficulty is hella low because I do races with people that can't hardly race. You know, like how oh, I help PJ out and shit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I help hey. them out. This is kind of surprising. That I-8 is moving. I'm gonna, just gonna be real. Okay, okay. bye. Oh, oh, we're dead. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, the Porsche doesn't have any Looking brakes. Looking back is not a good idea. Well, there's I slowed down. I was like, I was like feathering my brakes. I needed a lot more. Nah, I locked up. I locked up. Why is it so much lighter inside the car? Do y'all see that? All right, I need to switch, quit switching my camera angle because I'm dying right here. I'm driving like an asshole. What's going on? If you start in first person, does it make the outside darker? Like a little glitch? It's weird. Damn, Jaded is straight up gap in my shit. Like bad. Hey, don't say that. I just spun out a little bit. How do you spin out in an I-8? Like really, that car is so slow. You know, I raced one in real life hey, and he really hey, thought he was gonna do something. Skinnier tires than a fucking smart car, what you expect? Yeah, that shit it's is that shit is like super slow. I but, always said this is an overrated car for every person who wanna show off. Like, oh, I got i8. It's an i8. It's expensive, but it's not just slow. Yeah, no, it looks nice. I'll give it that. But it's not but one of those cars you know, that I'm like. In oh, real no. life, it only have one exhaust tip. The second exhaust tip on this car is actual speaker. Yeah, it's it's the sound they pump through the vehicle. Yeah, you know. No, uh, outside, outside. 
Why is there a speaker outside? The second to make the noise because oh, that make car it outside. doesn't have a good sound. Oh shit. Oh, you ain't winning? No, no, no. I didn't even look at it. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> oh my god. I was it's catching there at the end. You can't lie. Oh, I was coming, After bro. Second. <gasps> no way. No way. This game's cracked. On my Stupid. screen, I was at half your car. You should have won. You was whole car behind me. And we can't hey. look at time because there's hey. AIs. Yeah, I know. Hey, you know what? You know what? That's how good the Porsche is. It'll just glitch itself in the first, even if you don't win. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Look, I'm going to pop my confetti mm. on you, too. I'm a cheater. I use I'm hacks. Gonna hit you in the, I'm going to hit you in the head with that confetti. <laughs> I used hacks, bro. Oh, I got a thousand credits. No way. Wow. That's awesome. Amazing. Fantastic. Wonderful. Stupid. Okay. Three. Bro, what the fuck? This can only make 357 horsepower. <laughs> what? That shit was stupid. That shit was like moving. Like a 427 torque. That shit was moving. Hybrid. Okay, Porsche is great in a road race, and there is nothing that beats this like brownish okay. leather Let interior me put it this way it is it man. could have been better if you wasn't messing around with your camera angles yes it could have it could have I, I i will admit to that i was fucking up a little bit uh the porsche probably would have done a lot better i probably would have been right up there with you but i did lose some speed and i was at the back so uh you know it's all good but porsche's fire though these two were were too close than what i expected and it was a random pick I didn't want it, this car. Yeah. No, it was good, man. It was good. So I'm going to go to the festival right now, and I'm going to do a quick little road race build. I'm going to go ahead and hop in my other Porsche. Okay, so as far as engine upgrades, I did intake E85 fuel system. I did not touch okay. ignition. I did not touch valves. I did not touch cam. Exhaust, I did upgrade it because surprisingly it sounds great on this car. Um, I didn't touch the engine block. I fully upgraded my twin turbos because it sounds nasty. This is a cruising car, this is why I built it this way. No, so what class in S1? I am almost at the top of S1. I'm about to figure out why. Full flywheel, and so I definitely have race brakes. Yeah, no, my brakes are not upgraded. I'm not going to upgrade any car or pick something. When you start up a race, if you give me a car to pick, I'm just going to choose a random car and we're going to compare from there. Okay, cool. That sounds good. So I can't upgrade my brakes. Um, I'm stock weight, actually. I'm on race suspension. I'm surprised I'm at the top of S1. I don't even have that many upgrades. Like, that's crazy. And my tires, they're not even full slick race tires. Watch. Yeah, I'm on semi slicks. I'll do semi slicks and I'm going to keep my fat tires front and rear because yeah, I got a little bit of track width, but that barely upgrades my PI. I did the second one on front and then full on the rear because there's only two on the rear and my rims actually okay. add 14 pounds. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. I don't have any arrow because the arrow is stupid. If you guys want to see it real quick, look, this is the arrow and it looks dumb with the paint. It's like a little thing on the splitter. Like a little micro penis worth of downforce. Down for force. I can't talk. <laughs> okay, okay. Downforce. Downforce. Buddy. Yeah. Whoops. And then the Forza Arrow looking dog shit as always. So I did not put that on. No conversion. It's not all wheel drive. It is rear wheel drive because I have a soul. And twin turbo. And no engine swap. I'm at the top of S1. Is it possible Perfect. we could put this in the top of S2? Maybe X class? Like, I, there's so much oh, stuff I cannot do to it. You can engine swap it, put all wheel drive on that's it. What I'm going to be top what, S2 for sure. That's what I'm saying. There's so much stuff I can do to it. I said that wrong. But, like, my rims are heavy. Everything's heavy. Like, this is a cruising car. I'm going to leave it exactly how it is, though. I'm not even going to lie. All I am going to do but is because. Just a heads up I would not do cross country on race suspension. Oh, no, we're not doing cross country right now. We're doing a road race real quick. Then we're going to do okay. cross country. I'm going to rally that shit out of this car. So I'm going to put my tire pressure down just a little bit in the rear. Just because I feel like I'm going to spin. We'll go 33. Um, final drive. I'm going to extend it just, just, a, just a tiny amount. That's nice. 345. Two camber. 1.5. Nice, nice. And then I'm going to... I'm going to keep my race suspension stock. 
I'm going to change my deceleration. I'm just going to take it down just by like five or six notches just so I can get that little take bit it of by uh, like do 23, 23 so on deceleration. On, yeah. Yeah. So you can kind of let out turn instead of braking, let out then turn quicker. Yeah. Cause my acceleration is on 25. I feel like it's going to steer pretty good. Um, um, I hate understeer. Like it's 25 yeah. out of 100? Yeah, 25 out of... Do it like uh, 50... Hold up. Yeah, yes. do it like 62. 62? Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm going to understeer like a perfect. bitch with that. Nope, you no? won't. Okay, cool. It's rear engine. Oh. Hey, you know what? Jaden knows more than I do. I'm trusting him. I didn't even think about that. So, yeah. Not no, even worried about mid-engine, whatever you want to call mid -engine, it. Mid-engine, yeah. I always used to call it rear engine and when I know this makes me sound stupid, but when people were like mid engine cars, I was like, what, what do you mean mid engine? Like the, the engines in the fucking back seat. Like you put an engine on a passenger seat. Yeah. I'm like, Keep what is, with you? what like is you mid engine? It? I thought it was in the middle of the car. I'm, I'm, I don't know what I was thinking. We're going to pick another sprint and I want this one to have some turny turns and this looks good. Hopefully the Porsche upgraded is going to be a lot better. And Jade is going to be looking at the carbon fire fiber uh, ducktail that he's so desperately Perfect. loves. Perfect. I want to look at the carbon fire. <laughs> he's going to lose on purpose fire. now. He's going to be like, I want to see that carbon fiber ducktail. Oh no, it depends what I can pick. Oh, oh, what do you got, you know, ready. I got 720 GTRs. Oh I can shit. Pick. Oh, I'm screwed. But no, I'm going to pick something different. It's bone stock, but it is all wheel drive. And it is a mid engine and it's a V10. I'm screwed. Good it's luck. a it's an Evo. Yes. Oh my god. I knew it was an Evo. Shit. But trust me, I picked it from the last of my class. First pick okay. was the 720S. Yikes. You know how crack that car is i know 720 goes too hard i have a 720s that'll gap anything with just the intake and the exhaust oh yeah this those cars are like stupid yeah but you still got advantage you on semi slicks yo cj we're recording a video right now um oh shit. you want to join back in like a couple minutes like when we're done yeah 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 that's fine awesome thank you buddy i got you anytime all Only right. thing you got on me, David. Wait. I I'm on stock tires. I'm not on slicks. I'm on not oh, race tires. I'm on sports tires. Hey, you know what? Let's roll it. Let's go. Oh, I got some spinny spin. Oh. Hey, oh no. Watch out. No way. Hey, seven point. Watch out. Hey, hurricane. Watch out. Oh my God. There we go. Okay, you hit on me. It's a beast. I think. It's a beast. It's a beast. It's a beast. Oh my I god. I like your carbon fire. I like your carbon yeah, fire. Yeah, I know. You're going to lose on purpose. You just want to look at that shit. He's going to go inside. Oh my nope. god. It's still it's still a little uh, I don't know. Could be just me. Oh, this is a close. It's race steering it's two. steering really hard. I'm just sliding a little bit. If I had slick race tires, ooh, 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 I'd be ooh, in it. Ooh, ooh, Are you dead? Did you die? Nope. No. No, you're good. You're good. I'm good. I'm sliding. I am definitely sliding. That's the only thing that's limiting me right now is sliding. Oh my God, look at that. I'm drifting turns. On my screen, you perfectly turning. Really? Yeah, no, I'm yeah. uh, I'm lighting them up a little bit. You'll see in playback if you ever watch the video. It's, uh, I'm having a little bit of issues. Die. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. The pit maneuvers in this game. I'm toxic. See, oh my God. I, I crashed and I'm going to miss the checkpoint. Oh no, I didn't. Holy shit, that Evo is moving. Yeah, tell you what though. Some about this car, I can definitely feel the engine in the back. It definitely wants to get the ass into that car, like out of there. It's trying to sweep me out. Oh, don't miss a checkpoint. Oh, it is very oh jaded. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Porsche, come on. Hey man, there's a fucking. Stupid ass <laughs> itch on my nose. I had to itch it. Oh my god. Nasty. Hey, you know I what? I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. It was like, nope, you're gonna die if you don't do it. I had to. <laughs> I've had that happen. <laughs> you can't pause. You're screwed. So, uh -huh. is there any way I can add weight to the front of my car? Other than downforce? 
No, but there's a way you can put more grip to front by lifting the right hand in the back and leaving lower in the front. Bro, these wider turns, so, it's just swinging my ass into the wall. Like, if I take it too hot, it just wants to sling me, bro. Ooh, don't look, miss the checkpoint. Look at no, me. Look at me, bro. I'm sideways, like, damn near. I can feel the weight. So, not bad upgraded. I feel like it. if I was less stubborn and I would put Forza Arrow on it, it'd be a bad bitch. But... Yup, it should have more downforce in front and more grip, and you could have passed me on a couple turns Yeah. where I should have been in front of you. Yeah. Like when you slid into the wall and lost a lot of speed. But, but with that being not said, a bad race. it's not. Yeah, I went that far behind you, and you're 840, and I'm 841, you're 851. Not bad. Not bad. With yeah. a Huracan Evo, it sticks with it. It's nice. And that's something to keep in mind for the final score, um, which I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm already keeping score in my head. I already know what I'm about to give it. You remember the categories, right? I put it up on the screen for you guys to see in the so, video so it's less let's, confusing. Let's do it this way. Let's give score in each category instead of doing it last, what, like we're done with road racing. What Good you shit. gonna give it? Okay, so you haven't painted the car yet, have you? Or you tried to paint it? I Did tried you? it, but I didn't go like try hard on it because I know it's annoying. Yeah, the way so I want it is. It is so very annoying to make the spoiler this way. The way I want to paint it, it's annoying, and I'm I don't have that many that much patience to hold on to. So right. I was like, yeah. And Leave it. it gives you I'll the option to paint the spoiler, but you can't actually paint it. So that's mega yeah. negative points for me. Um, but overall, the car, a lot of cars are not centered. Like when you go to paint cars, the rear bumper, the front bumper, they're not centered actually. And when you line stripes up, you actually have to put them farther over than you think you do. You have to line them up with the badges and but shit because for some reason they're messed up. Centered. This car is actually centered. So that's like yeah. good kudos for me. Um... It's really, I guess, I don't know. It's a small car. It's easy to paint. Uh, the rear spoiler was a pain in my ass. But other than that, all the vinyl went on decent. There's no weird body lines in it, like the top and bottom and sides and rear. It's pretty much just that spoiler. Um, so as far as paints, and it is a little glitched out to where you can't actually paint the spoiler, I am going to give it a... Uh, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I'm going six. La, okay. So if you're on PC, I would give it eight out of ten because you can use third party softwares to do designs and it's going to be way easier for True. you guys to do it. On Xbox, if you're a lead designer, nothing's a problem for you. But for if you're somebody like me who don't do that many, that much designing, I would do five out of ten instead of five six. out of ten. I would, yeah. Okay, so I say six, you because say five. Because the main thing for me that bugged me the most, the spoiler part, I really wanted that to be an option. But me too. It makes no sense. Lie. It's not a spoiler. It's a whole trunk lid. Yeah. But still. They shouldn't I'll give you an option for it. it. Either way, they should not give you an option for it. Like, no doubt. Mm -hmm. So, question. Rarity. How rare is this car? Because that's a category. I think it's not rare at all. It is... Rare for people who don't have car pass. Um, yep, I was about to say that. Yeah, you have to buy in general, right? You don't just get it in a few days. You have to just buy car pass, right? Yeah, if you don't have car pass, it don't matter. You're not going to get it. You cannot get that car. Same thing with like the Ford Window Deluxe. If you don't have the controller, even the Noxious, you cannot download it because you don't have the car pass. Yeah, right. So it is rare for people who don't have a car pass. For people with car pass, yeah, it's not that rare. Everybody's gonna have everybody's gonna have one. So question. Do you think it would be worth getting this car on car pass or not? Yes, because first of all, car pass is a good thing. Like you you know paying for one car, you can get a lot of cars with car pass. Right. And we just testing the stock motor. You have a lot of engine swaps and different things you can do to it and make it even more better. Okay, so that's another so, yeah, category in itself. It. Okay. So it's so it's worth it. Let right? me put it this way: if you like driving around, cruising around in first person, and you tired of black interior, black color interior, or red color interior, or plastic interior, this one actually got a 
good brown leather interior that actually looks nice. So yeah, for me, it worth it because of first person view. Yeah, I'm actually it sitting in it right now it. in Forza Vista. I'm about to upgrade it for mm -hmm. um, the uh, the off-road race. So in rarity, in terms of rarity, since you can just buy it from the car pass, how much is it US? Do you know? Isn't it like $5 or some shit? You can buy separate cars if you don't want the car pass. You can pay just for the car you want. It's $2. Yeah, so yeah, so it's $2 per car. Yeah, but the car pass is 30 bucks. Yeah, see, I think it's much better. We haven't even gotten 30 bucks worth of cars yet. I think this is a car but, I would buy individually. But the thing is, car pass go with the whole game. You're going to get... Yeah. So basically, it is worth it. Basically, paying dollar for a car, but it's 34, so you're paying less than a dollar for a car. But if so you don't want it. every single car, and you're not like a crazy collector, and you need all the shit... Yeah. Don't get car pass. Buy them individually. But uh, in terms of rarity, I would go ahead and give it a 2 out of 10. Just because it's on the car pass and anybody can have access to it. So it's not it's not just six thousand dollars on the auction house. You know what I'm saying? But it's mm -hmm. not unavailable either. Anybody can just get it with money and it's not a big deal. Uh auto show, this car goes for uh, if you do have car do, pass, it I'll goes do for ten. Three out of ten. So you say so you say three, I say two. Two and a half. Yeah. Out of ten for both over score for the paint, I'll, we would say five point five out of ten. So, oh yeah, so we could do that. You mean averaging the two scores together? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we're gonna give paint a five point five because it is fairly difficult but not impossible. We're gonna go ahead and yeah, give rarity a two point five because it's not impossible to uh, obtain the car. You just have to buy dumb, dirty ass car pass. Um, or you can buy the car individually because it goes for 205000 if you do have access to the car. It's relatively cheap. Mm -hmm. I think anybody has that amount of money in this game unless you just do not do shit. So just it's go, not rare at do all. two laps of Goliath, you can afford it. Yeah, exactly. It's only going to take you 15 minutes. So since we've been upgrading it, we can go ahead and give it an options score. The options category of the um, product score is how many customization options are there? There's no body kits. There's no awesome stuff like that, right? But there is. Okay, let me cool put upgrades. it on that one. The one you think no body kits. In real life, that car so rare. Yeah. Besides Porsche, there's no other off market manufacturers that made any part for their car. Besides, true. you can switch different wheels. Yeah, true. But um, I'm just gonna treat every car the same. We're gonna do a product score for every car. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a body kit, but we do have some pretty cool customization options. We do have one and good a swap lot of in cool here. Engine swaps. Yeah. Well, we have one engine swap, if I'm correct. And this is the GT2 RS motor, right? The 3.8 liter. Um, the what the hell is F6 yeah, twin so turbo? Flat six. Flat six. Yeah. That's the GT2 RS motor. So that's pretty dope. Yep. And it's in the and then it's not a complete awful motor swap because it is from another Porsche. You get turbo upgrades, you can all-wheel drive it, you can put rally suspension, you can put off-road race tires, you can put a bunch of cool you shit on here. You can put drag slicks. You can put drag slicks, you can make a drag car, you can get snow tire compound. You can pretty much do anything you want. Uh, there's just nothing outrageous about the design. There's no cool spoilers, front bumpers, and as I'm they should. One thing I'm happy about, you can now V12 swap it, and I'm loving it. I'm loving that. And also, it shouldn't have a bunch of crazy spoiler options and shit, as it should, because it is rare, mm -hmm. like you said. The interior is amazing, and I would count that as an upgrade in itself. Just from overall, yeah. all the cars you've been driving in the game, they're all black, and there's one car with red interior, and it's a Ferrari. So, for options, I'm going to go ahead and give this car a 8 out of 10. I think it's an 8. It's got everything you need. I was thinking about it like I legit thought about it, but, 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 the spoiler upgrade... It's a no no for me, the four zero. That tiny oh, thing. It is awful. It is really awful. I didn't even it's think still about there, that. But no. Yeah, it is bad. Eh, it's really bad. I would do seven. I would do one lower. You would do a seven. Like it's still, there's a lot of options. You can make a cool drag build, cool wheelie build out of it. It's, you can do a lot with it, but I would do seven. Seven. So you say seven. I say eight. You want to bring that to 7.5? Yeah, we can agree on that. Cool. 
utility score we can't score that yet because we haven't done the off-roading yet the drift we haven't done it yet the cost we're gonna do 10 out of 10 well it's not the cheapest car ever because it is 200,000 and it's not say under a hundred thousand so i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten because it's just hella cheap what do you think jaded i would do six i'm just putting in perspective like rarity wise yeah is good but if you just think in a game you can buy another car that gonna make more horsepower than that car yeah more torque and everything is gonna be cheaper so i would go with six let's throw it at 7.5 7.5 so I would say for track, for me, it handled really well. It kept up with the Evo, which is a big task considering I'm underpowered because there's a lot of cars that handle really well. I'm trying not to be biased because I just love the shit out of it. The appearance is what's getting me and I love Porsche uh, in general. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because it was pretty crap. Why you have to say that? You're going to say that? Yeah. Damn. 7? for right now but because if you're a good tuner like you can tune cars for track that car can't handle way better what we just did yeah so i did a very basic tune that's what i kind of compensated for because normally i would have said either mm -hmm. five or six out of ten but we did not spend any time on it whatsoever so all we're missing now is drift and utility so jaded while we've been talking i didn't want to bore people to death by just talking i've been upgrading the car and Under. i put every single upgrade possible uh, except the roll cage. And so, you know, it's going to be cracked out of its fucking mind. Oh, so basically fully build it. Yes. That's what you're trying to say? Yes, that's what okay. I'm saying. Exactly. And just so you know, fully upgraded. And even though it's on race tires, it's S1897. It's cracked. Ooh. Yes, I know. No Forza oh, Arrow this. either. So here's the thing, Jaded. I refuse to destroy this car by putting Forza Arrow on it. My pride just won't let me do it because I love this car and I don't want to see it ruined. So it will go into S2 with the Forza Arrow on it, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to use it and I'm just going to struggle okay. a little bit. I'm going to e-brake it through turns and that's how we're going to run this bitch. So I'm going to go ahead and install this right now and I'm going to do a simple little tiny basic tune on it. I put the engine swap in it too. I want to hear what it sounds like. I want to show everybody what it sounds like. I think at least once we should put it in here. I think we should do in-depth reviews on cars, bro. Like, I like these longer videos. Comment down below what you guys want to see, what, what we're missing, and what we drag out. Because this is all trial and error, and we're not used to rating cars. We're not like professionals. We just usually just have our own personal opinions. But I kind of think a long, drawn-out review of a car is necessary from two people's points of view. And I think it's something different that nobody's really ever done. Because normally everybody has like a 12 to 15 minute video of them just kind of driving it around and shit. And they don't really talk about it, talk about it. So we're going to talk about it. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick tune and then I'm going to get us into a race, Jaded. No problem. I'm just cruising around in my Lambo. I'm going to flatten the shit out of my tires just because um, it's necessary. I want maximum grip. Mm -hmm. Oh my Jesus. I have to extend my gearing like crazy. No way. My shit was like peak crack. I'm going to put it up just a little bit. I don't think I'll hit that fast. No, I'm going to put it towards speed. I don't feel like messing with my gearing right now because that's a whole in-depth thing. I have a I have a process for that. Jaded knows. So I'm going to leave it. Uh, negative five camber. Mm. That's cool. Fine, fine. Uh, I'm going to go up 0.2 degrees on each tire because I want to be able to hit them corners with no arrow. It's going to be hard. Front, rear. I am going to... Stiffen up my rear because I'm not trying to understeer so hard. I'm going to do it twice as hard as my front. Damping, bump stiffness. I am going to go a couple degrees on my bump stiffness. You know, I'm not trying to bounce all over the place when I hit them damn ramps. That shit be pissing me off. Oh, 100, 100, 100? What the hell did I put? Oh, I put an off-road diff. Oh, that's where I fucked up. Acceleration. I'm going to put acceleration front, 65. Deceleration front to... 40 rear acceleration to 70 and deceleration to 50. I oh, think that's pretty good. All drive, huh? Yeah, baby. I had to crack it and I'm going to put 60% towards the rear. I think there's a good tune. We're going to stick with that. I Let's want a big, car. gnarly, turny, ridiculous. I'm going to hate my life cross country race. That is a badass race towards the end. There's a lot of turns in that shit. 
and there's a straight so i think it's gonna be perfect to see how much we can open it up this is going to be the porsche off-road ultimate test let's see how fast it does a donut you yeah i'm still, still loading inside it. the hub nope and force is broken we're gonna be back as soon as we fix our game see you in one second all right we are back and uh forza sucks not news to anybody that's uh played online forza doesn't suck i take that back but the online sometimes starts tripping but in the process of that what we've done is jaded has become the convoy leader and he made a custom event so now he's going to be able to race me in any cracked ass car he wants and if the porsche even remotely keeps up with it then we should be golden and that'll give us our true test to how cracked the porsche sport classic can be david i my father got to change the difficulty oh hmm. shit oh jaded He's his shit's still on crack difficulty. Can I go to current car? Oh my god. Let's go. Oh my god. Did it let me pick it? Oh my god. Holy shit. Barely in time. Jaded. It went to X class. What did you do? So let me put it this way. Are we oh just god. gonna test that car against my car. Let's not test again. You know what? Let's see how it goes. Alright. I can't imagine what you're in. Yeesh. No. Uh, how about this? It, we're gonna let the AIs go ahead. We're not gonna race right away. Okay. Okay, so just a head to head between me and you. Because I might be in a different class than you are. Oh, so shit. AI is gonna be faster than you. Yeah. So let me see. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I'm in a different class. So, yeah. Let's RS let 200. the AIs, AIs go away. Holy RS shit. 2 and US 1. Yep. All let right. the AIs go ahead. We stay in the back. Bet. Sounds good to me. Mm. Oh, I'm nervous, bro. This Porsche, I don't know. It did a donut pretty fast. Hopefully, it's pretty cracked off, bro. Hmm. We're about to find out. Yikes. Oh, we still got to do drifting. I know. We still have to drift. Ah, let's knock this shit oh. out. So, let him go. You're right here. Let him go. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, go. Oh, okay. Hi, buddy. Go. Get out of here. Super, Get out of here. Doing? Nobody likes you. What, what why is he going backwards? <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Okay. <laughs> He's gonna race with it. Oh, you thought. Oh, and he's smacking. <laughs> what the fuck is he perfect, doing? Perfect, boys. Perfect. Let's go. Just haul ass. <laughs> okay, let's I'm go. done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm bullying I'm him. I'm done with this. Oh, shit. I hit the wall immediately. All right, let's go. Oh, my God. This, Watch this, out for this. the jumps. Holy shit. Oh, and I'm out. Woo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This jump is so crazy. Holy shit. I'm hauling ass right now. No lie. Oh my god, slide it, slide it, slide it. Oh yeah, Porsche. Oh, here he goes, here he goes. Oh, thanks for the speed boost, buddy. Holy shit, no I'm flying 200 on this shit. Oh my god, what kind of race are we in? How are we catching the unbeatable AIs? Oh my god. I'm catching S2 unbeatable AIs. Get out of my way, bro. I use them as my brakes. Drifty slidey. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got it. Oh, yeah, baby. This car is doing fantastic. Oh, it's so mint. Oh, oh, oh. no, 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 no. Jaded, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, my God. So, oh, all the this race, too. this race hey, is please. not built for these types of cars. Anything above A class. Yes, anything above A class. I'm going to hit the sign. I'm going to hit that shit. Oh, my God. It was so close. I did. Why is there, I have a questions. Why is there a fucking Ford Transit van falling ass and super glued to the fucking dirt? I gotta know. Somebody <laughs> has to take accountability for this shit. Yep, I'm using my, using my brakes, thank you, sir. Oh my God, can I please slide this? Are you talking about this? the, the yes. super van and yes. just hauling ass? Oh my God, look at it. Fourth place, bro, he does not even turn. He just fucking flies. Look at that thing. It's nuts. I'm gonna bully him. Let me catch you. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Get into it. Oh my god, this jump is gonna take me places. Can I steer in the midair? Oh, I wanted to hit him so bad. Let me land on him. Nope. Yeah, baby. You thought. Fucking cracked ass van. Dude, this Porsche is going insane. I'm S1. I am S1 jaded. I'm a downshift in midair. That's great. Uh, and I miss a uh, checkpoint. Okay. Slidey, slidey. Oh, it does good. 
on the road on dirt it straightens out and okay. barely snakes if you don't finish. see me in david's video anymore after this race because <laughs> i might be on the selling horizon 5. oh my god no bro we need your oh shit oh my god i went through checkpoint Jay. dead center Jay. twice how did Next we lose you know, i was hauling ass no, because, <laughs> because you died. This game made me miss a checkpoint when I went through it three times in a row. Oh my god, bro. This shit was crazy. <sighs> bro, in X class, S2 class, I finished fourth place in my S1. This Porsche goes hard. Like, like dummy. Imagine if I put, look at that S1 class blueprint uh i got an accolade yo imagine if i put forza air on it air air bro look who we're arrow. all floating against a porsche a ferrari evo and dumb uh, shit dumb shit Lotus of Viva. like what what do you think so let me just put it this way my car is super cracked but sometime having an op car is too much because i over yes i agree it. I agree. I hit the board twice. For some reason, Forza like, oh no. F you. Made me miss a checkpoint three times when I was dead center. So you beat me. And this car stupid good. And I will give that car 8.5 out of 10 for off-roading. Yeah, I think it did better than track. Like, I think it did better than track off-roading. I'm going to say... Yeah. I agree with that score. And this is the first score I'm actually going to copy you on. There is better cars. I'm pretty sure there's better sports cars off-road. But this was ultra-cracked, especially for what it is. And I love it. With no Forza Arrow and everything, it's got to get a solid 8.5. So for utility, we're going to go ahead. And that means anything off-road, sand, uh, stuff that's not the road. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and give it a solid 8.5 on the product score. Now we have one thing left to do, and that is the nice finale. We're not going to do any monstrous drift. Uh, I mean, not uh, any monstrous drag builds this episode, this time around, because me and Jaded, we take pride in our drag builds, and we actually take lots of time to tune them. So if you guys want to see that in a separate video, then be sure to let By us know. a lot of times, he means maybe a day, maybe two days, maybe yes. three days. Yes, we really spend time on tunes. We are serious about it, and we love gap people, so... If you want to see a separate video of us doing some monstrous drag builds on this car and you really love this car as much as we do, then go ahead and comment down below. But we're going to go ahead and go do a quick drift build on this car. So I'm not going to say I'm going to get an F Formula drift car, but I'm going to get a car that's decent horsepower. If we both drift in the same car, it's going to be different points, but I want to compare with a different car, like how close it can get. Okay. I For some reason... Burado. When I thought about us doing this challenge, I was thinking like, like we're going to both be in the same car. But then I quickly realized how that doesn't make any sense. So, because then it, it just comes down to your tuning. It's going to be longer, longer, longer. It's right. just better to take a different car and just com compare it with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset default upgrades. I'm going to get rid of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rally build. Um, because I can replicate it. It's not that hard. And we're going to make this shit a drift monster. It sounded good with the, the with the engine swap. I'll give it that. But I am going to do a drift build on stock motor. First things first, we're going to go ahead and grip up those front tires. Big thick boys. And my front tire width was 255. So I'm going to do 305s in the rear. I'm going to leave stock tires. That seems, seems legit. Um, I'm tempted to do stock tire compound. But we're already on, we're already, these are semi-slicks. We're probably on street tires. I am going to do, I am going to do drift tires just for this one. A little bit of grip, but we're going to have plenty of power. So I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I am going to go ahead and upgrade my track width in front. And I'm going to do one in the rear. I'm just trying to uh, widen my stance out a little bit. We're going to put some nice drift rims on this car because... I do want to, I do want to make it look cool. So why not? 
those look fantastic literally the first rim i click on it looks good but i think we're gonna go with some five spokes because they look gnarly tire compounds out of the way no forza arrow obviously we have to turbo the stock motor because yes yes and yes uh drivetrain we're gonna go ahead and up that clutch race trans i don't think you can oh yeah race trans it changes when you do the engine swap you just have the one race transmission and then you can change the speeds okay so good shit we can go ahead and do a drift diff that makes plenty of sense for this and we're going to do engine upgrades we'll change the suspension and stuff here in a second but i'm going to max all the parts that don't add any I'm weight big, buddy how you doing i'm midway through my build buddy i'm upgrading all the upgrades that don't add weight and i'm going for like a 750 ish horsepower you know why i'm why? 700 on the dot for my drift build so my turbos add weight but that doesn't count i'm not gonna add my intercooler and i'm not going yeah that's it i'm just gonna add my fly bill fly, fly bill oh my god flywheel good yeah good shit right um 750 horsepower on the dot and that's perfect but i am going to go ahead and get some weight reduction on this bitch we're gonna make it light 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 anti-roll bars we're gonna take a little bit extra weight off why not i am gonna add them let's just crack this drift build out because it is the last challenge of the day and we have nothing to lose drift springs and dampers Ooh, the porsche looks nasty slammed oh my god it is so fire. I don't like the little red or the decal on the wheel, but that's okay. It's not, it's not about style. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. Okay. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm sorry. We are going to the mountain and I'm going to use my, should I use my drift cam? No, I want you guys to be able to see the car swinging. I'm going to put a quick tune on it when I get up to the top of the mountain. Let me go ahead and fast travel. You ready, Jaded? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's drift time. All right, let's go. Yeehaw, baby. Let's, let's and go on go dirt, go. it is doing surprisingly well. Wow. I feel like I could have extended those gears a little bit more, but fourth might be the sweet spot for me. Holy I started shit. on top so you get used to it because the drift yeah. started in the middle. Yeah, I'm uh I definitely need some good practice with this car. Wow. Hang on. Alright. Okay. Jaded. I think we might have just did something. It's so cracked. It's doing well. It's doing too well. I don't trust it. It's sussy baka. Holy shit. <laughs> Bro, it's <laughs> I'm having a little bit of trouble with these shorter gears. But overall. For a base tune, it's not bad. I'm trying to keep the power through these corners. I'm trying to keep the power. Yeah. I feel like I just need a hell of speed to come into these. I need a long gear. With but a this lot is of not the one we're going to drift at. You know, we're going to need too much speed because they're going to be tight turns. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, these are a lot of like long winding turns. Okay, mm -hmm. let me get back on track here. Let me focus. There we go. Nice. Oh, why am I stalling? Oh, I know why. I know why. I'm stupid. Get in front of me. I'm going to see anything in my smoke. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Nice little transition. Put them tires in the dirt because we are underpowered. Just like slide them out for the grip we have. Nice. And here we go. Get ready. Here we go. Drift zone. Oh, my God. It's too good. I, and I'm going to spin out. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, I went reverse, but it didn't turn. And I might fail it. I failed it. No way. I failed it, Jaded. I Let's failed it. it. Let's rerun it. That's okay. I'm going to fast travel because I am not going to make it up this hill with this amount of traction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend my gears out a little bit. And I'm going to up that tire pressure in the rear because I have plenty of front control. And not enough. I got too much grip. Just like too, too much. So, that's not on the car. That's on me. Uh, my base tune just wasn't good enough. So, that's good. And I want to extend these gears out. So, we're going to go ahead and drop those like, yeah, 315. Okay, cool. 
You ready for round two? Yeah, this might be a little bit better. I probably could have afforded to go more, but it's all good. Let's try it. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. This is a lot better. I could have gone longer, but it's all good. Nice. I'm gonna drift around you real quick. Ready? Too much angle when I went in. Why did I do that? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I'm at the end of my third. Kind of, it's kind of a weird, uh, kind of a weird gear, but we got plenty of angle. We have plenty of angle. See, I should have even gone lower in my rear tires because I'm still having like a grip issue. But so far, it is decent. It's nice. Okay, too much. No, no, keep it on the edge. Nice. Loving it. It's doing not terrible. It could be just me. So, a few things I would change. I would extend my gearing a little bit more. Next thing I would do is I would go ahead and put my stock tires back on. I wouldn't run drift because if you're running stock motor, you're seeing I'm all on upgrades. I'm having a little bit of a problem trying to get this car sideways because see if I put my tires in the dirt, I can kind of slide it. But when I'm going, man, I hit my life. What happened? I was on Did you bail it? Answering every question again. <laughs> oh my God. I got to start watching my controller a lot. Oh, you watch? You wa I... Do you controller watch? No, stupid. I meant because I have a separate button for my headset on controller to oh, mute. Oh, I, I got you. I got you. It. Yeah, I got flipped and to it mute. Just, like, Not about that life. No, I have a button. Like, you know, on yeah. new controllers, you have the share button to take a picture. Yeah. In the middle. Ooh, 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 I ooh. put that as my mute. I remapped it. I got you. So how you doing? What's your score looking like? Um, so far I'm at 531,000. It's not bad. Um, I'm just having a little bit of trouble getting oh, sideways. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fail it. Oh, I'm back on road. It is very good. But if I'm like balls to the wall, like really e-breaking it hard and really like slamming it in my, like the end of my third, maybe I wouldn't need less grip if I could if I should have extended my gears a little bit more I'm really trying to keep it sideways but this car just wants to grip up for some reason but I have I have hella front you control. wanna know why mid engine they're not meant to drift yeah but we're testing it I mean you got way too much weight on the rear tires yeah they're gonna grip up yeah I needed less grip I need a lot less grip I think the tires would have helped me and I think the um what, am I, what was I gonna say the tires were gonna help me and fuck oh the extended gears and keep in mind it's just a base tune we did not go ahead and fully tune it for drift right it's if this a, was like, a fully tune. drift tune and we had time to customize it and play around with it then it would be really badass but so far jaded now that i've gotten the chance to drift with it for a second i'm gonna tell you it's mega cracked and if i redid that run i'd probably hit a mill i'm not even gonna lie because i just finished the drift zone at a solid 909,000. That was awesome. And so that's your new PB? No, no, it wasn't my new PB, but it's wow. pretty damn close. 900,000 is not a small score on the mountain. And I kept one skill score the whole time. It was fire. So like I messed up twice, maybe more than that because I was doing something. Yeah. But let's see how close we get. And so this was my first time ever drifting this car too. I think this was my first time so ever drifting a mid-engine car. 909,000. I hit 950,000. Sheesh. But think about it. Mid-engine, Porsche. But this is a drift and car. And that's a drift what car. I mean. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if I had a little bit more practice with this car, and you've actually tuned that for drifting. That's like one of your favorite drifting cars. Correct or no? Yep. Yep. Yeah, so but I would say, like, even I mess up a couple of times, I could have a hit million, maybe million one. Right. But 990,000 for a mid engine Porsche, not bad at all. No, 909. Oh, yeah. Nine. Still, yeah. that's yeah. not bad. 
not bad. And especially if I went ahead and I dropped them tires hey. down and had a little bit of time to time mess with my me. gearing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, guys, look at my angle. Real quick, I want to point that out. A lot of people, like, they always ask me, like, how do you have hella angle on stock cars, not the Formula Drift cars? And all it is is camber and tow. That's pretty much it. Camber and tow. That's all you need. That's why my tire, like, turns flat. Like, look at Jaded's. I'm guaranteeing that yours is set up the same way, right? Yeah, look how his tire's backwards. Crazy shit. So, overall, I would say I would give this car a solid... For what it is, for a drift car, it's not. But for a sports car that can drift, it is. Quote me. <laughs> like, look at this. It's good. So what you gonna give it at a point wise? Dude, it's, bro, I was just, I had a score in my head. And then I just started melting this turn <coughs> because I've had some experience driving it. And now it's doing like really, really, really well. Wow. Okay. My score is going to be determined on how well I just take this U-turn right now. And I spun out. But that was my fault because I know what I did. Um, this car is great. It is a little heavy in the rear. I noticed that in the races. It makes sense. It's mid-engine. Um, the drifting part of it, I definitely noticed the heavy rear, but I could not keep it sideways for a different reason because I had hella grip because it's heavy in the back. Um, but all of that's fixable by tuning. So overall for drifting, I would give this car... Mm, I don't have anything to compare it to because I've never drifted a mid-engine car, but I would say that I'd give it a solid 7. It tried its best, and it was better than I expected and with some tuning it would be even better I would say 7.5 my final score it was good I would do six six because for that car just looking at it is good but if you compare it to other cars like all around I would do six okay so the middle between 7.5 and six is 6.75 but do 6.5 just make it okay like it's easy to add up for a 6.5 right. 6.5 my car was a my score was a little high just because i'm digging this porsche i am biased mm -hmm. i love it so with that being said we have our product final value and that's going to come to let me do some math because i'm terrible at it paint 5.5 because it was a little difficult Rarity, 2.5. It's not rare. If you got the car pass, easy to get. Pretty, pretty attainable. Obtainable. I can't talk. Option, 7.5. It did have plenty of nice and custom upgrades that you could do. Uh, for it being the car it is, it is very rare in real life. I don't think you should be able to wide body it. I don't think you should be able to do a bunch of goofy shit to it. They gave us the option to twin turbo and it you and should engine not swap do it. it. And you should not do it. I feel bad for having engine swapped it. But hey, I'm on stock engine right now. I redeemed myself just a little bit. It looks so good. For drift, we're going to give it a 6.5 because it's not the best, but it's not bad by any means. I'd go as far to say if I put a good tune on it, it'd probably be one of my favorites because it looks good in the corners as well. Drifting and style points, we gave it a 6.5 because that's badass. Utility, 8.5. Turns out... That is the highest score of all of them because it is a beast off-road. It is an absolute monster off-road. If you put some race tires on it, and I did not even use Forza Aero. So if you're interested in doing some off-road races and you need yourself a sports car, go ahead and consider getting this for yourself. Cost, 7.5. It's good. That is a high score because it is cheap. It's easy to get. It's only 210000 on the auto show, and you can get it fast, cheap, affordable and easy if you're looking to get this car and you do have car pass you get one for free but if you want 10 of them and you want to put a bunch of different paints on them or you just want oh, one nice. extra in your garage to put a paint that i made on it you know it's easy to get so 7.5 on cost i think it's a good score track seven it did do very well on track and i feel like with a good tune it would live up to that seven a little more than what we gave it 
So that brings us it to a grand 8.5. total. It could have been 8.5 because this is a track oriented car. It is a Porsche. It is mid engine. It is made to corner. It is an S1 monster. But for the time sake of this video, even though we dragged it out crazy and did a really in depth car review, I would say that that is a good score. So everything added up. Let me do some quick maths. 5.5, 2.5. Leave me alone, bro. 6, 7. I'm not saying That's, nothing. Fuck you, oh, bro. I'm, I'm looking at numbers and my brain is frying in my skull, bro. I'm sorry. I have it on screen. Everybody's already added it, but whatever. So, 5.5. That's, like, oh, this guy's that's slow. 6, 7, 8. 8 plus 7 point. I know how to do this. I know how to do this. I know how to do this. Alexa. 15.5. What's 5.5 .5 plus 2.5 plus 7.5 plus 6.5 oh plus 8.5 plus 7.5 <laughs> plus 7? <laughs> the That's why she... Yeah, baby. Nice even 30. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I hope that's right. I hope I can count on her to be right. Alexa, can you stop listening? Thank you. I don't want the FBI listening to my conversation. Thank you. I don't trust her. She's an op. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but 30 is our final score on the out of. product score. That's 30 out of 70. So if there is a car out there that exists where it finally gets a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, it gets a 70 score. So we're going to go ahead and give the Porsche Sport Classic 2010 a damn whopping 30 out of 70, which I feel like is low, but all things considered, we did put it through a full range of tests, and I think that was fair. What do you think? 30 out of 70? Hmm. Could have been 35, 40. Could have, it could have been. With more time and more tuning, then yes, Only it could have been. The only thing that hit, hit that car mostly is the cost. Not the cost, like a rare rarity. It wasn't that rare. That's yeah. where it lost a lot yeah. of points. True, true, if true. If you take that out, it's pretty good. Right. Yeah. Because that's like straight ten points is mm -hmm. sixty. Then you do sixty out of thirty, it's not that bad. It's like good. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It's not a bad car. Yeah, it's really not. I like it. And um if and you don't have this on car pass all around the car. Yeah. If you don't have a lot of cars in your garage and you're considering getting a car from CarPass, I would recommend this car. It is pretty good all around. There's plenty of upgrades. It's very versatile. And you can do pretty much anything you want in this car. Not to mention it looks awesome. And you can download a badass paint from Damn David. So, you know, I can keep plugging my shit. But, yeah, you know, <laughs> shit. I worked hard on this bitch. It was hard. It was hard to paint it. That's why the score scored so dog shit. Because the, the DuckTales spoiler. It sucked. But um, with that being said, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, be sure to drop a comment because this was the most in-depth crazy shit. I don't know. I think we've ever done. Um, it was a yeah. long video, but this was a super in-depth car review. Let me know if you want the shorter videos. Do you want 15, 25 minutes? We can do it. I just like to be thorough. And I don't feel like there's anybody else out there doing content like that. I don't think anybody spends that amount of time on one vehicle. But... um. Shit, it was fun. Did you have fun, Jaded? Yep. Yep. <laughs> this is what we do. So uh, if you want to see a couple of nerds play Forza and uh, critique every single thing about cars and all you need to know, guide, then uh, consider subscribing. You got any uh, closing statements, Jaded? No, I'm just going to go build some cars so I can make some clips. So we're going to go make some clips right now. We're going to Horizon Racing. We're going to go set up some stuff for Jaded's YouTube. It's going to be in the link in the description. Go over there. Give him a subscribe. He's new to YouTube. Go show him all the support in the world because we're going to have some awesome races over there featuring your boy. Stock bolt-on cars, cool shit. Nothing V12, um, like, fully stripped and upgraded in bullshit. We do a lots of realistic racing, fun stuff. Go over there, subscribe. It's going to be a lot of fun from both channels. Comment below what would you like to see from the channel. We can do shorter videos, long videos. doesn't matter. If you want me to come back to streaming, then just say that. But thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I love you guys. The support is amazing. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.
Peace. Later. Me where are it at like you am? We both know that pain and hurt. I know I am not supposed to be here right now, but I wanna be here right now. It feels right. I don't wanna be here right now. I don't know what's going on. It feels wrong.